friends, I am Sir Fails a Lot. And I am the Board Game Warlord. And together we are the Board Game Brothers. Today we're going to be playing Axis and Allies, which is a 1942 second edition. It's a World War II board game. And uh, it looks pretty cool, like from here. Yeah. So I will be playing as the Axis. Which is basically Germany and Japan. And I, and I would be playing as the Allies, which is America, Great Britain, or the UK, and the Soviet Union. Or Russia. Yep. So for our IPCs, we will be using the Monopoly money. Since the game doesn't come with any of those uh, paper IPCs, they say either we write it down or just get Monopoly money. Or any types of money. Yeah. As you can see here, there's all sorts of military units from, from the infantry to tanks to artillery to bombers and planes, all the way from submarines to battleships and aircraft carriers. We won't be doing the whole gameplay because it'll be too long and uh, my iPad would die and uh, it'll run out of storage and my computer probably won't be able to take it either. So we're just going to separate out to uh, combat movements and the ending for each nation. So for example, after the Americans buy and do their combat move, then we will record it and uh, tell it all to you guys. Right, let's get started, shall we? So, for Russia's combat moves, Russia uh, moves a lot, a lot of troops into West Russia and they're moving a tank and three infantry into and uh, artillery into Ukraine. And for their purchase, they bought eight infantry spending all their IPCs. As you can see, the invasion of Ukraine was unsuccessful, but the invasion of Russia, well, West Russia, was successful. Uh, I moved the troops from here all the way up to uh, there, so that I can defend from the Japanese in case they want to invade. Uh, and I also got, I'm also moving troops closer to uh, Moscow or Karelia. Kar Karelia right here. Oh yeah. Yeah. So I placed four infantry in Russia and four infantry in the Caucasus. And uh, yeah. And uh, oh yeah, I also moved my submarine from season four to help defend with the uh, British. Now, it's time for Nazi Germany to make their move. Mm -hmm. So, what Germany has done is that I have attacked right here, and attacked here, and here, and some American combat. So, you're basically attack doing mostly sea combat, and you're doing an amphibious assault from uh, there to land on Egypt? Yeah! Dang, that's a lot of stuff. And, so far, uh, with all... With 39 IPCs, I have bought, well, three tanks, three infantry, three artilleries. So that's pretty good. Yeah. So, after all that combat, I won all of them. I won the battle over here. I won the battle over here. I won the battle over here and here. And I claimed it. And where else? And yeah, basically, that is it. So, I placed my three infantry and three artillery over here. And I placed my three tanks over here. And I pushed the people from Poland to the front lines so that they could go against Russia. And uh, yeah, that is basically it. Time for the British move. So for the British, I decided to send my 
destroyer from season 10 to season 11 to attack that sub and avenge my American friends. And uh, at season 7, I also have a battle. I'm sending in my bomber and a fighter to blow up that cruiser. And over here, I sent troops from India to and the, the Transjordan to do an amphibious assault on Egypt and try to retake it. And I also have a cruiser to do a bombardment. And yeah, that's all. Oh, just these three moves. Well, two of the battles were a victory. I took out his cruiser and his submarine. And unfortunately, the land bombardment and the amphibious assault did not work. It, all we took out was just a tank. So, um, I decided, so I built, uh, I put the three fighters here in India. Moved one fighter from the carrier to Burma. Uh, and then I am sending a submarine from the Australian oceans to stock on the Japanese ships. And, uh, I forgot to tell you guys earlier that I also destroyed the transport over here. He had the transport, so I sent one fighter and just, uh, blew him up. Yeah, I wasn't aware of that. Yeah. That's all so far, and I also moved a troop from Persia to Transjordan. That's it. Now it is time for the Japanese! Yes. Okay, so, so far what I've done is that I brought Yamato over here, or my battleship, to attack this cruiser with his gorgeous transport. And I'm sending in too many people from Japan all the way to this little Russian place that isn't worth anything. So, yeah. That is basically it. So, let's see what's the results. So, this is the result. My battleship, I send him here to take out the cruiser. And the attack over here was a, a big success. So yeah, the Russian threat is destroyed. Now it is time for the Americans and their cheeseburgers. Well, don't forget to mention that you placed your uh, industrial complex in yeah. the Indies. Yeah, I got I made co industrial complex and I had a fire and artillery in Japan, so I can make more stuff now. And now it is time for the pesky Americans. Yep. So for the Americans, they didn't really do much. They just built like ten infantry and two tanks, and uh, they just moved. They're just moving their transports. And their ships around the, the submarine and the destroyer went to the western USA and uh, and the battleship came over to to guard Pearl Harbor. I sent a plane to land on the carrier and uh, I moved and I transported like two infantry from uh, San Francisco, which is the west USA to uh, on the transport is still going, heading to its destination, the eastern USA. So the transport is being escorted by a cruiser and a destroyer. And yeah, after my, after Germany crippled my fleet by taking out my two transports, <laughs> out it'll probably take me a while to recover. So that is the end of the first round. Next up, the Soviet Union. For round two, the Russians didn't do any combat moves, but they only bought eight infantry, placed four in the Russia, and another four in the Caucasus. Uh, oh wait, hang on a minute. And then they, they also, they moved four from, from Moscow to West Russia, and then, hang on a minute. West Russia, and then they also moved, moved the two infantry from Archangel to Karelia SSR. They also moved a fighter to West Russia and a tank to the Caucasus. That is all for the Russians.
Next, Nazi Germany. How he So did. I didn't really do much. I just uh, blitz through here and claim these areas. And I'm going to. I do. I grab the tank and uh, a tank from here and uh, infantry from here. They're both on the same team line. So and then I move back here, drop them off at this area. Trans Jordan. I drop them off. At the Trans Jordan. Yep, I drop them off at the Trans Jordan, and then and now my short bombardment thanks to Bismarck or my battleship. And yeah, let's see the results. Well, yep, the battle was successful over here in the Jordan. And yeah, then I moved and I placed um, three troops, one, two troops here, three troops actually, and one troop in Germany. And my uh, two artillery's all, three my artillery. three artillery, my three artillery's are also gonna go in Germany. And I uh, was kind of stupid, so I didn't put an escort for my transport. So now my transport's gonna get destroyed instantly. Yep, I can hear you guys crying out for help. I'm sorry. Say your prayers. Yep. That was the only flaw he did in this round so far. Because by leaving those transports unguarded that for this one bomber to blow up. Or even this little fighter. Alright, now it's time for the British to blow up my transports. Yep. So, for the British, they don't have much. They're just going to buy a tank... A uh, technically two tanks, a sub, and a Spitfire fighter. And the only uh, combat move they did is send that bomber into a strategic bombing raid. We'll find out how many damage later. So the bombing round was a success. I inflicted maximum damage from my bomber, which is six damage. Two his German factory. Uh, my bomber is safe and sound. He did not get shot down, at least. And I'm sending my Canadian troops on a transport and heading straight for Great Britain. And also, I moved my transport and my cruiser from the Suez Canal because there really was no hope in trying to liberate Africa right now. So I sent them back to India. I put my one of my planes in India and two tanks in India as well. And I placed my sub in the U UK. And I move another sub from C-Zone uh, 30, I think, all the way to India. And yeah, that is it for the British. Now for the Japanese. I didn't really do much. All I did, I just like, I just got one this person, this little innocent person, and just claimed that area, and then I used my little tank destroyer to blitz through this area, and cl claimed some delicious IPCs, and I moved a lot. I moved. I think I moved a sub from here to here. I moved a uh, voucher from uh, here to. Here. Here I think, or here, I don't know. Here to here, and uh, and I actually moved quite a bit, and uh, now I have a lot of fighters. They're far here, they're far here. Two fighters are there. Yeah, maybe I should just make. Them. Yeah, it's better. So yeah, so I'm moving up quite a bit, which is pretty good. So next is the pesky United States. So for the Americans, they didn't do any combat moves, but only nine combat moves. They didn't buy anything either. So, uh, what it is that uh, the transport unloaded its two infantry over there to Washington, and the bomber from Washington flew all the way to uh, London, and uh, well, yeah, that's pretty much it, really. Nothing much. On to the next round, which is the Soviet Union's turn. So, Russia decides to buy two tanks and two infantry. 
and decides to uh, not stick to his plan of defending itself and decides to go on to attack Ukraine again and uh, Belarus. Yeah. Let's see what's the results. That turned out to work pretty well. Uh, I conquered Belarus and Ukraine with the USSR. It's working out fine so far. Uh, I placed my two tanks and my two infantry in Moscow and my other two infantry in the Caucasus. Next, finally, is Nazi Germany. Will they take their revenge? No. Okay, so I produced uh, 10 footmen and one artillery, and I blitzed through over here, and now I'm attacking there, and and then I'm sending a bomber to hit this industrial complex, and also I'm, I could do blitzing here, now I'm headed towards so yeah. So I won all the battles, and I guys and I so and I gave him three damage for his industrial complex in Russia. Now I put my ten troops in Germany. I moved Germany's troops to the front lines for some people from France and Italy to the front lines as well. I I placed my artillery over here. I placed my ten footmen in Germany. Yeah, that's it. So up next is the British and they're putting in tea. So for the British, I bought two infantry and a cruiser. And I uh, had some leftover IPCs, approximately three IPCs left over. And the only combat moves I'm doing is uh, bombing Germany's factories again. And yeah, that's basically it. Nothing much. Because, yeah. Well, the bombing raid didn't go so well. I only did two damage. Two damage only. And I placed some units that I bought. All of them in India. The one cruiser and the two infantry in India. Now... For the Japanese. So, as for Japan, I didn't really do much. All I did was just, I just blitzed over here. So now I gained three extra IPCs, which is amazing. And now I'm basically just going to move a few guys. That's all. So nothing much, really. Okay, so I moved quite a lot. So, oh, by the way, I, put, I built three fighters and uh, artillery, so. So, um, okay, so I moved uh, my transports and my destroyer and other ships over here. Moved the trooper, moved the infantry from here to here, moved one infantry here to here, and uh, send a bomber land over here in my territory, and then send, uh, and send two, three, I, yes, yeah, and I sent one plane from here to here, send two planes from here to here, and. Also, and I also moved the destroyer here, and I moved uh, the battleship over here to defend the cruiser, and yeah. And I also moved the plane from here all the way to here so I could defend that area. And yeah, that's it. On to the Russian. No. So, on to the pesky Americans. So, for the Americans, I bought five infantry, seven artillery, and five tanks. And the only combat move I did is to send that bomber to bomb the facility of Germany. And bomb their factories. See results. Well, that sucked. I only did one damage to his factory. What is wrong with my bombers? And what's wrong with the British bombers? Only three damage on his facility. On his factory. It'll take him like what, less than two seconds to repair that. <laughs> no damage whatsoever. So. 
<sighs> Alright, so I am also moved my the destroyed over here to the Hawaiian Islands as defense. And uh, I place uh, like all, I place my infantry and artillery there. I've also placed my six tanks there. And yeah, hopefully I'll get better luck. Next time. Yeah, the next round. Next, it is time for the Russians. Okay, so the Russians bought five infantry, two fighters, and a tank. And uh, they sent a T-34 to attack the Panther tank, and uh, they also sent a fighter as well. They also sent another T-34 and a fighter to take out this infantry unit. And we'll see how it goes. Well, I would say that uh, the attacks failed, but th I did take out the German units in Persia and, uh, and over here. So I would say it's a success. So far, and uh, for my non-combat moves, and I moved uh, two infantry from Russia to Caucasus and four infantry to West Russia. I placed another four infantry in Russia and one infantry in the Caucasus. The fighters landed in Ukraine and one landed in uh, uh, Belarusia. Uh, yeah, that's it. Now time for the Nazi Germany to make their move. So, I'm going to be buying five artilleries, two fighters. And then, I'm doing a very risky invasion. I'm staying the Baltic States and Poland at this area as covered by troopers. Belarusia. Belarusia. So, yeah, let's see what's the results. Well, that went pretty well. So... Yeah, I liberated that place, and I blitzed through this area and claimed these two places. And I moved artillery from here to here. The fighter that was fighting earlier landed here. The bomber that I sent to li try to liberate that place landed here. And the infantries. The infantries. I moved them from Germany to Russia, to, uh, from Germany to Poland. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> that would take. They would die before they make it to Russia. All right, and I moved uh, the people from Norway to Finland, mm. and I also moved some infantry from France to Germany. Oh, what are you doing? He died. And. Yeah, next is time for the British and the delicious pastries. So, as the British, they will be taking revenge. <laughs> they had a tank split through Persia and Transjordan, and they're now landing troops on Egypt in an attempt to retake it. And they're also sending in two fighters and doing a shore bombardment from a cruiser. Wait, what? You never told me about that. I thought you saw it. No. Oh, well. Now you know. And I'm also sent doing a strategic bombing raid. And I also did a, uh, uh, what's it called? Amphibious assault and landed on Norway and took it without any resistance. And I am also buying a tank, a fighter, and a uh, infantry and a transport. Now, we shall find out how the battle goes. So, that went pretty well. I took Egypt, uh, suffered a uh, loss of one infantry, and uh, I placed my transport over there next to the sub, and the rest of my units that I was building, I placed them in India. Move all the troops out from Burma. We place them in India because I gotta protect my capital because the Japanese are coming up next and they look like they're they want revenge. And look, they look like they really want to take India as well. So that's why I built four fighters and two fighters to guard. How do you build four fighters? Well, two, two. Well, I've slowly accumulated it so yeah i didn't really do much all i did was just 
just move a lot of guys. I moved the. Uh, what was that? <clears throat> I moved the uh, aircraft carrier somewhere from around here to here with the cruiser. I moved a lot of planes to here, here, and here, which is pretty awesome. And uh, yeah. So, that's it. Now to the, the Americans who are gonna whip Japan's ramen butt. So, the USA aren't really gonna do much. They're just gonna bomb Germany's poor factory again and build seven transports. Of death. Yes. Of shame. What? No. Yep, that's it. Nothing much from the USA. So we'll see the results. Of death. Well, that went pretty well. Maximum damage from the American bomber. And uh, I placed my transports in the eastern USA and I moved my uh, tanks from Western United States to Eastern U United States. That, that would be it. Now it would be for the poor Russians. Now, the Soviet Union are building six infantry and they're only going to do one combat move which is try to take out this German fighter. I don't know why. But, they're doing it. See the results! Well, the battle was successful and I placed my six infantries all the way in Russia. It's nothing much here from the Russians. So now on to... The Nazi Germany. So I'm bursting my super cannons at Ukraine. So, basically, I'm just trying to invade there, liberate poor, the poor Ukrainians from the cruel Russians. And I am building four tanks, a uh, footman, I'm going to name him Tim, and a fighter. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm charging my tanks and i use this transport to pick up artillery at rome and i drop it off over here and i'm gonna use my battleship to try to blow this guy up just in case that the tank and the artillery is not enough just to give him a little beating and make sure he's missed me if he's not missed me i'm gonna be mad so let's see the results well that didn't go so well i had to retreat from the battle of ukraine I put four tanks in uh, Germany and the fighter in Germany as well. And the Battle of Egypt was successful. And uh, yeah, I the peop the infantry in Poland, I split them up so that some will go there and some will go there. And uh, yeah, that's basically it. And I'm really angry at the Russians. So yeah, that's it. On to the British who are going to kill me. The British are going to build up their navy and they're also going to build a tank. And they're also going to do a strategic bombing raid uh, with an escort. Because Germany has a fighter so I'm sending in a fighter to escort my bomber. And I'm also doing a naval battle. Submarine versus destroyer. Also, plane. So, yep, my plane is also gonna come in and try to take him out as well. And we'll see how it goes. Success on the submarine attack. And I also got a successful bombing raid, but unfortunately I couldn't include the fighter because I realized that he wouldn't have the range to go to the bombing. So... <laughs> Yeah, and uh, my so my bomber had to who fight off that one fighter by himself, but luckily he didn't get shot down, both by the 
anti-aircraft gun from the factory or the interceptor. And he did uh, okay-ish damage to the factory, 3 damage. Could be worse. And yeah, that'll be it. Time for the Japanese. Okay, nothing much. Just doing a strategic bombing raid over the Caucasus. Yeah, let's see how it goes. Well, I succeeded on hitting two, which is not that bad. It's decent. And I moved, I used my transport to move my three tanks and three infantry over there onto that area, which is SSR area. And I am, and I moved a destroyer from here to here and, and I moved all my planes over there. So yeah, let's see how this goes. Whew. So for the Americans, I'm going to build a carrier, a battleship, and a transport. Aye, aye, aye. And I'm gonna do the usual raid against Germany's factories. Hopefully, it can hit another maximum damage bomb on top of it, if possible. Yeah, we'll see how that one goes. The bombing raid went okay -ish. I got four extra damage on the uh, Germany's facility. Not too bad. Uh. Yeah, and my bomber survived, luckily. And, uh, I placed my, all my, the ones I built over here. So, they look nice and ready. And then, the, um, I moved the submarine from the sea zone 56 to 58 to stock on these ships, keep them at bay. That would be on time for the Soviet Union. Well, I don't really see that much hope for the Soviets, so uh, after a while, I made a pretty tough decision of abandoning Ukraine and West Russia to just try to defend Moscow. I'm just going to try to defend as many places as I can right now. I've been looking and seeing that the Japanese and the Germans are on to me. I just, I, the Soviets need help. Seriously, need help. But who will be able to resp respond to their call for help? Unfortunately. Obviously the Americans. The Americans would not be able to make it. We made time. a deal early, earlier. As long as Russia, as long as Japan does not invade the USA, you won't invade Germany. If you're breaking that law, you are haven't invaded yet. Okay. Well, so the the Russians just say the Russians can't rely on the USA because the USA is taking way too long to build up their army. And by the time the US even gets to France or anywhere near there, the Russians would be gone. I mean, the J Japanese have like more than six fighters and a bomber coming and the army is traveling from the east over there so yeah russia is going into full defensive right now and yeah oh. and because it is quite a shame though because i wanted to keep ukraine and even if i did keep ukraine and reinforce it these tanks right here and all these infantry and fighters just at, would just ambush me and take out my the majority of my army and then would take Moscow so it is a must that I have to send all the troops and tanks and military units yeah, yeah I kind of wish you didn't do that yeah. yeah I had to send the rest of the military units back to their motherland yeah so we'll see what Germany does in response to this defensive maneuver. Obviously advance my troopers forward to reclaim the areas. And I am doing a aerial and a single tank attack at the Caucasus. Let's see how it goes, shall we? 
Well, the battle was successful, and uh, yeah, I placed my. Oh, forgot to place the little fighter. So I placed my fighter over there and my eight troops over there. I decided to uh, cancel them earlier before I went to the attacking phase so I could repair my factory. So, yeah, and Battle of the Caucasus was a success, which is pretty good. But but the only problem is he's letting me, uh, he wants me to pay the damage that I've done to him. So, I am repairing his factory so that I can use the factory. <laughs> which is kind of stupid in a way. So, I hope you guys will learn from me if you guys put axes and allies. So, yeah. All right, now it's time for the pudding and tea team called the UK or England. Yeah, the British are gonna do their bombing raids with their one and only bomber again. Uh, only this time they're up against two fighters and uh, anti-aircraft guns from the factory. The British are building two fighters and uh, infantry. Can't really do much. I mean, they they've lost a lot of territory and IPCs. So we'll see how it goes. Well, um, I did critical damage to Germany's factories, and uh, my bomber is safe and sound. Didn't get shot down at all. And and the uh, British people decided to answer their the Soviet Union's call for help because look, there's. There, where are the rest of the fighters? They've flown all the way to Russia. And I placed my two group fighters I was producing into India, and I placed the four fighters uh, into the Russia to answer the call for help. Uh, that, that would be all. Then now, see how the Japanese will respond. Yeah, I didn't really buy much. All I got was just uh, three transports and um, footmen and uh, infantry and two tanks. And I placed them all in Japan and I, and I didn't do any combat. All I did is just maneuver. I grabbed a bunch of people from Japan and placed and delivered them over here. And the, the people that used to be here are now over here. And the people that used to be here are now over here. So... It's quite a bit tic tac, you know. And I move my carrier over here because it's very unsafe. He needs to be with a battleship. So, and a destroyer and a sub, which is very helpful. And maybe get planes again. They'll all probably get more planes eventually. And yeah, now it's time for the United States of America. Americans didn't do the any combat moves, these spot. Uh, Five transports and a uh, bomber. And they placed them in the eastern USA. Then uh, mainly non-combat moves, I moved my carriers and my carrier cruiser and battleships to C zone 9. And also the Americans answered, well technically the Chinese answered the call to, to help out the Soviet Union. By sending one tiny fighter. Uh, and uh, I pulled out my sub from C zone 58. So he's staying next to Midway. And yeah, that's it. Nothing much here. Next up, the poor Soviet Union. Russians didn't do much either. They just built four tanks and they moved a fighter to Karelia. Uh, yeah, that's it. They're just preparing for the big attack. This is the, this will probably be their last stand. If the Americans don't come quickly, or if the British aren't able to help out much either, then they, then these Soviets, this will probably be the last time they'll see the Soviets. That's if the Japanese uh, make their attack ahead of time, like 
Right, like if they attack in, a, in this round, then we're probably toasted. So, yeah. Okay, so I build five transports and two tr and two infantry, two the two infantry in Italy. Put the five tr transports over there. Um, I didn't do any combat moves. I moved the artillery over here. Um, you you move with a lot of guys to the front. Too many. Well, actually, uh, you put four transports here, and you moved the uh, one transport from the Suez Canal all the way to. Uh, it's too much. Yeah. So many, there's so many maneuvering. And uh, I, I took I took a plane from here and I put it over here and I come and I took a plane from here I think or here I don't know somewhere and then put them over here and then I just I just converted all these guys together because it was kind of getting a little messy so yeah and then I moved this good guy from Germany all the way over here so he can be picked up by these guys. And yeah, I put I move my battleship over here with them, so I can escort them. So if if I don't, I'm gonna die. So yeah, that is it. Now it's time for the Great Britain. Right now for the uh, UK, they're building a battleship and a destroyer, and. Uh, Initially, I saw this opening under Germany, so I wanted to attack, but Germany bribed me, so, with 20 IPC, and I couldn't resist it. I really needed those IPCs, man. I'm so sorry. <laughs> uh, so, instead, I just used all these fleet to, use my fleet to attack the, Ger uh, the Japanese fleet. Uh, yeah, we'll see how the battle goes later on. The plus side is I didn't put any transports there, so yay. Well, uh, the naval battle was a success, uh, but all my carrier, only my carrier was surviving. So I had to, and both my planes were shot down. So I had to take the two planes I had in India and sent them to the carrier. And I placed my battleship and my destroyer in season 35, which is near India. Yeah, that's it for the British now. Let's see what the Japanese are going to do. Japanese! Okay, I sent all my fighters from here and my tanks to into Russia, but since I didn't have that much space, I just put them on the board here. So it'll be way right easier. Alright, let's see what's real. Wish me luck. And I also built the yeah, bomber, battleship, and... Out artillery. Okay, wish me luck on the battle of Moscow. My goal is just to weaken them. That's it. All right, wish me luck. Okay, so the attack on Russia failed, and all the planes got shot down. That's been all the info, and I placed my all my troops that I mobilized inside. In Japan, I um oh yeah, I forgot to maneuver. And I'm not maneuvering. Because we're just gonna end later, so yeah. Well, yeah, because I, my brother and I, we made a bet. I'd say that if I, because I, I've let him attack Moscow in the next, in his next turn, and I say if he wins Moscow, then he wins the game. But if I lose Moscow, then he wins the game. <laughs> yes, because, because I think that the Moscow troops are undefeated. Though. I'm trying to prove her mom. If I prove her mom, I get two things. I get the bragging rights and... Yeah. Obviously, I'm not going to brag. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. For me, uh, for me, I get... For me, I would get... Um, two things. One, bragging rights. Two, humil humiliating my brother. And his German army. That's three. Yeah, that's three. All right, let's get this over with. All right, now the Americans. Wait, Americans? Turn. Yes, Americans turn. So, uh, I tra these uh the Americans aren't gonna buy anything because uh I for me I think I personally I I feel quite confident in what I have in these transports. So, in these transports I have eight infantry, eight artillery, six tanks, and six infantries. In the, in this convoy right here, this messy convoy. 
And just doing a strategic bombing raid against Germany. That's all. Let's see the results. Yep. So, uh, the bombing raid was a success as usual. I got 4 damage off of him. Bomber is safe and sound again. And, uh, yeah, that's it. Now, we shall go to Moscow. The Russians are gonna be stupid to start building an aircraft carrier. Because, uh, they want to have their first aircraft carrier. And, uh, yeah, I'm in all combat mood because they're trying to be defensive. And uh, they're just gonna place their aircraft carrier right here. They're just gonna fly the plane and land the aircraft carrier. And it, and then if there's an next round, they'll be the only one surviving. So, good luck to them. You know what? I think I'm quite confident with this Moscow defense. So I challenge you and I'll, and I'll and all the rest of my allies will skip their turns. Just for your Germans to attack me. Oh, is that how confident you are? Oh, yeah. Heck yeah. I'm, I am confident right here. That's why I built the aircraft here. I don't need any other defense. See? I have the might of the Russian armies. Ha ha ha. The Iron Fist. Yes, I have the Iron Fist. The Fist of Stalin. Oh, okay. Well... Alright, okay, let's uh okay, let's get to the battle, shall we? I'm charging all in. Yeah, let's get let's get to it. Alright. This is the last battle. Let's we are film to, this. Yeah, let's film it. All so right. So this is basically like every Axis and Alice battle we had earlier, but it's a lot more boring. <laughs> Alright, so This time this time a game the whole game is on the line. All right, let's begin, shall we? First, you have your anti-aircraft plane to try to shoot down my fighter. How many? You have three. My, yeah, 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 three planes. Okay, go. Yeah, one. A hit. No hits. I have no hits. I got just fives and eights. Anti-aircraft. Yeah. You guys could just look up how to play Axis and Alice, then then you'll understand everything. Yeah. This is my tutorial. All right. Now I'm gonna start from big. I'm gonna start from young to big. So. Give me the small, smallest. Infantry to the. Oh, I th actually, looking at the armies right now, I think I'm gonna die. Why did you? Oh my gosh. Why okay. did I even accept this bet? But I do. But I have confidence in I my fighters. I have fighters. ten. So. One hit. One hit. Yeah, from these guys. Wow. One hit. All right, go. Put someone in casualty zone. So, so, okay. Oh, 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 you could use an anti-aircraft gun as a. Hit as well, extra hit points. Okay. okay, now for my and for another four because we don't have enough guys here. So zero hits. Zero hits. All right, now for this one, which is gonna be now for my artillery and my men, which is gonna be very intense. If you're with an artillery and uh, infantry, the infantry gets to hit on two instead of one, which is a lot better. Uh, 16, 18. Then yeah, eighteen. Wow. Died with it three times. Oh, three, three hits. Three hits. Go. Right. Okay, uh, let's get places trip. Okay, second time rolling. Oh, another two hits. Two hits? Two hits. Oh, great. So I'll just take out the red and. Okay, now. For this, the last one, one hit. hit. Three, two, one. Three, two, and one. All right, I'm not done yet. I still got my tanks and my fighters. So, so I got two, two, four, six, like eleven. So I get at least. Uh, oh my gosh! Only two, two hits. hits. Two hits. Okay. okay. Sure, two hits. Ah, uh, darn it. Two hits, I'll just probably take... Yeah, I'll just put this on account later. Two, two hits, right? Yeah, yeah so, just a three, so. so... So if I get one more hit, then you can put that. Okay, yeah. five dice for tanks. Hit. Oh my gosh. Three hits. Four hits, dang it. Yeah, it's one at a time, it's better. So okay, so... One, okay, now take out three. 
three, right? Mm -hmm. I'll just take this out and put a two. Here you go. Two. Oh, uh, that was. Hang on a minute. So three, right? So I put three. Here, can I say green? So two greens are down. Okay. All right, now for my final one, bomber. Miss. Missed. Wow. All right, go. Now, well, this is gonna be a scary. Now one. for the fist of the Russian okay. army. You got quite a bit. So you got um one, two, the, three. One more black dice. Yeah. Okay, you got. I got. Oh, I got you at got least five, ten, fifteen. Fifteen, yes. Just right wait, 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 wait. Fifteen. Five. Wait, five. Ten. Fifteen. Oh, shoot. I can do Ten. the math, though. Fourteen. You're off by one. Fourteen. I roll, I roll twice. We roll two dice. Oh, one hit only. Oh, my goodness. One hit. One hit. Dang, this is not working well. Okay, and how many times you roll? I need two, right? Yeah, just two dice. One hit, two hits. Okay. I'm just gonna just uh take just grab a gray trip chip. Take out the. the I don't green. have a gray chip. Yeah, gray chip. Just take out green. Put the gray and the infantry on. I'll just leave these guys on, right? Yeah. Okay, that's all. What? Oh, wait, wait, did you? Oh, yeah, okay. Okay, uh, next, my tanks. I have two, four, uh, I got seven. Just to roll one. And, and you're a plus your fighter, right? No, 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 my fighters are depending on fours. Oh, yeah. Ooh, oh, okay, goodness. I got at least four hits. Okay, just take this little thing out. Okay, and This roll. is gonna be a close one. How many do I re-roll again? Hmm? Don't roll. Wait, how many do you get? No, I had two, four. Wait, two, four, five. We roll two. Yeah, we roll two. Yep. One hit. Okay, he's dead. All right, now for your fighters, which I'm greatly fear. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, you re roll one. Wow, yep. Two hits. Three hits, four hits, five hits, six hits. Real one. Okay, six hits, seven hits. Oh my goodness me. All right, now my Press, turn. Press or tackle. Or Press or tackle. Cause my Fight to the death. Yeah, if I lose this battle, then oh my goodness, that's going to hurt. <laughs> yeah, you spent a lot of time in IPCs. And even if you do survive the next round, if uh, my Americans would come, no, we're just doing this battle. Yeah, I know, but I'm just saying if we if you didn't if we didn't take this bet, then Americans would come and uh, probably One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, eleven. Eleven. Yeah. All right, go ahead. Eleven. All right. Just roll twice. Ooh, okay, good one. Two hits. Three hits. Three hits. Oh, that's, that's my entire infantry battalion. Okay. And now I re-roll. I had 11, so I re-roll five. Uh, yeah, five. One, another hit. Another hit. Another hit. Oh, my gosh. Four hits. Oh, Yep, that's my entire tank battalion right here. Almost your entire tank battalion. Yeah. Now for oh, my tank battalion. I think I I I am I was too cocky. Oh dear. Yep. Uh, yeah, you're kind of gonna take me down. All right. So, oh, this guy. This guy was an artillery, right? No. Yeah, well, either way, they're all the same right now because they're shooting you. Okay. So okay, for my tanks is uh eighteen, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, ten. So we roll. Rule four. Yeah. Alright, uh, okay. Hits. Two hits. Three hits. 
Four hits. Five hits. Five hits. Dying. Okay, I got two, four, and then five. Ugh. Yeah. Okay, now for my now four. I have, we roll four. One another hit. One hit. Oh. Uh, now for my bomber. Oh the my, humanity. Okay, one bomb. Hit. Oh no. Oh, I think I might have a chance this time. Oh, I think I'm gonna die. Okay, three infantry. Hit. No hit. Hit. Two hits. Okay. Okay, now for my tank battalion. Passing all the dices. Okay, okay, I got uh, two, four, eight. So I just re roll two. Oh. Three hits. Three hits. Re roll two. Three hits only. Take this out and replace it with a green. Green chip and take out a gray. Here. What? Yeah. And then finally, my fighters. My only hope. Uh, seven fighters. Oh, no hits. Oh. One hit. No hit. Two hits. Three hits. Four hits. Hmm. That's nothing. Four hits. All right, only. now take out your reserves. All I gotta do is just shoot down some. Four planes left. Oh man. I think you were too cocky. Yeah.